that is so cute. Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? Hello everybody, this is just a quick update video since so many people have been messaging and emailing and wondering how we're doing. So I thought I would pop in and say hello. So hello, <laughs> it has been a crazy week. Definitely one of those weeks where you really appreciate modern conveniences. Um, we lost power on Sunday night. It was about 18 degrees. It was pretty rough. Lots of burst water pipes and there's a giant hole in my bathroom wall now from the shower and it was really cold and no fun at all but everybody is fine we're healthy and we did manage to keep the puppies totally warm I guess I should probably announce that we had a brand new litter of puppies born a day after this last litter went home I don't have them in a separate room I, I really keep them in the middle of our living room so that they get the most action because I kind of want to watch them all day long and make sure mommy's okay all day and, and be right there. So I put them up on um, a heating pad and then they have their little bed on top of that heating pad. And then this power outage happened and we had newborn babies. When you're living in a place where the infrastructure is not set up for that kind of cold, it's incredible the kind of damage that it can do. Um, the first day, it didn't even occur to me that driving would be dangerous because I'm so accustomed to driving in that New York, New Jersey area. And so here, there's no rock salt stockpiles. There's nobody spraying the roads. The ice was everywhere. I mean, it was just black ice everywhere. It was not safe to drive. And that's when it started hitting me, like, I'm not on the East Coast anymore. This is not an area that is accustomed to this weather. And so the road quickly turned into a mess. That kind of cold, weak spots are gonna crack. You're gonna get potholes everywhere. I mean, we live really far south. I'll actually put in a picture. We're pretty down south and um, it doesn't snow here. <laughs> so when we left the East Coast, actually my kids were all bummed that they're like, oh, we're never gonna see snow again unless we go visit it. And then just this year is crazy, right? Well, last year was the last. It's been pretty crazy lately. I don't know if it's gonna stop. Maybe crazy is the new normal <laughs> at this point. But um, yeah, so as a result, nothing is weatherproofed. You know, our well burst at the top of the well, it froze and burst. So we just had water just shooting up into the sky. Um, water pipe burst in the garage, flooded the garage. Yeah, it was not fun and there was no heat because everything here is all electric. There's no natural gas, which is weird because Texas is powered on a lot of natural gas, but we don't have natural gas piped down in this area. So I just have electricity for heat and that's it. So when the heat went out, we had nothing. And that's kind of scary. In New Jersey, I had this little cast iron, you know, potbelly stove fireplace. Riding through Superstorm Sandy was no big deal because we had that thing. And we had no power during Superstorm Sandy for about seven or eight days. It was also wasn't as cold because that was at the end of October, but we had that, that little pot belly stove keep you really warm. And here there's not even a fireplace. It was definitely cold, but uh, the kids just thought it was fun because kids are crazy. The first night I had to wake up the kids and like bring them all into the living room and kind of pile in because it was legitimately that cold that you could leave them in bed and that was kind of that was weird so we had no water and not being able to wash your hands you know like trying to use bottled water to wash your hands and keep the kids clean so it was like a week no power no water and no, nothing was open there was no there were no gas stations there were no grocery stores I mean it was just everything was closed everything was black lights out it was crazy and we had snow on the ground so it was really weird, and that's for sure, and we're very blessed. We really didn't have a ton of damage. We're all healthy, and we're all safe, and that's what matters. All the cell service was out. There was no internet, so we had no communication whatsoever, no ability to like find out what's going on from other people or to help other people. Like We had some propane that we didn't need for anything, so we were able to share that with some local people that needed it for cooking because a lot of people out here cook like we cook on propane my uh, oven runs on propane and so all the propane of course was gone you couldn't find it anywhere because of all of this and so a lot of people need it for cooking and couldn't get any the first couple days as i was kind of sinking into my head that oh no what are we going to do how are we going to stay warm 
but as I saw that we were able to kind of bundle up under several layers of clothes, you know, puppies can be put against the skin, and underneath clothes, like we could do all of these different things to keep them warm. I mean, they are so fat and healthy and happy, so they made it through. A lot of people had flooded houses from burst pipes. We were really fortunate that we only had a couple of breaks and then all the groundwater had to be boiled. I guess so much water burst all over the place. A lot of the developments have wells, but they're all connected to the same well. Like we're on our own well, but a lot of people have shared wells. And so what happened with all that piping busting is that the areas, groundwater levels got really low and dirt got into everything. And so everybody's been in just the entire region, all the way from Houston, which is a couple hours away, you know, um, all the way down to Corpus Christi, which is like an hour south of us. I mean, just the entire area is completely on boil water notices, but you have no electricity. I mean, I've never seen such a massive power outage in my life. That was definitely crazy. I always keep a stockpile of food because I'm all prepper-y like that, I guess. So we had plenty of food, we were fine. And, and we are so stocked up on flashlights and batteries, so it was just a lot of shadow puppets on the walls and reading and uh, trying to utilize the experience to kind of teach the kids a little bit about how people used to live. The kids all got through it just fine. I think kids just think it's fun. <laughs> I packed away our gloves and our, our hats and our heavy coats because I was so excited to not need them again. And, uh, <laughs> and then I didn't know where they were. So fortunately, my oldest daughter, she likes to crochet and the little ones have been absolutely bananas with these little knit caps that she's been making. And so we have all of these knit caps that they wore all summer, by the way. Uh, they did not want to take them off. And so they had all of these little warm hats that they could put on. We had to dig things out, you know, boots and all kinds of stuff. I mean, it was 70 degrees before the cold snap hit. So, it, you know, it was pretty, crazy. Today was 55. We have our power back on, as you can see, finally. And um, today we got our water running again. Unfortunately, the sand that once the pipes all break like that, it gets all this dirt and sand into the pipes. So that meant that all the sand goes through all of the piping in the house and gets caught behind all the screens on all the faucets into the washing machine line. Um, oh my gosh, just trying to do laundry, which we had plenty of for a week and dishes, but there was sand and dirt and just probably pathogens in absolutely everything, in everything. So, you know, the washing machine had to be cleaned out and flushed out. The hot water heater, oh my gosh, it was just such a nightmare. And then the shower, as I said, the shower broke and that's our only shower um, because we have a bathroom. I know for uh, six girls in this house and one boy and we have a bathroom and, um, and no water to flush the toilet. So we have a big fishing pond. And so we were hauling, you know, big five gallon buckets back and forth from the pond so that we could flush the toilets. So try, you know, potty training a three-year-old in a 20 degree bathroom, but it's not exactly fun. It was kind of a surreal experience. You just didn't, I just didn't expect it, right? Like you just did not expect our first year in the very south of Texas, like right off the Gulf to be snow on the ground. There you go. It, you know, it's rough because you see all of these really small businesses out here. A lot of these really small family owned farms just had brand new crops starting to come up and they're all dead. Everything's dead from that. And every restaurant in the area lost all its food. I can't even imagine how much money in stock and, and just supplies those restaurants all lost because they had zero power. They were closed for a week and we just got back open not that long ago, and this area is not a wealthy area. There were a lot of people in the area too that are living in campers and like little trailers and stuff. You're not very insulated in a little camper. You're not very insulated in a trailer. So I can't imagine what it was like for those people. And of course, then you always see all of the disasters and the accidents of the carbon monoxide poisoning, the car accidents that happen and it's just really sad. It's a very sad situation. I can't even imagine what the power workers had to go through. We're very, very grateful to the Texas power workers because once that power got off and then everything froze, when they reopened it, they said that everything was just blowing. 
just nonstop for those guys trying to play, you know, catch up to this like patchwork quilt of destroyed infrastructure. There have been a couple of local contractors and um, construction workers. They were going around helping people fix their pipes and things like that and they wouldn't even take money. Like they wouldn't even take what little cash for a tip and just say bill me and like here's a tip. And they were out there with that water from the well just shooting out and they were out there trying to stop the well water from shooting out everywhere and fix it and every time they would fix one piece of the well another piece just further down was cracking it was just cracking and breaking just left and right just brittle and they were out there fixing that for a really long time and had to come back several days in a row to fix all these pipes and they didn't even take any money they wouldn't even take any money and so I'm definitely going to be baking some pies <laughs> and bringing them over because not only was it really amazing that those men were so willing to give up their time like that to help people that are basically strangers, um, but also, you know, their families. I'm sure that they wanted to be home with their wife and kids, making sure that they're okay also. And so they're in, it's not just the sacrifice of those men that were out working hard, but also their entire families. So I'm definitely very grateful. It definitely... Um, humbling I think it was just a bit surprising and it was very generous and just keep seeing things like that over and over in the community of people helping each other out so I think that's about it but the puppies are doing good look at this fat puppy though seriously she's fat hello 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 how are you how are you doing babies look at your pretty little white chest Hello. Hello. I'm not your mom. <laughs> I'm not your mommy. Aww. That is so cute. Why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? Hey. Where's my mom? Can't you just say hello? Mom, can you say hello? Hello. <laughs> Can you say hello? Hello. So thank you everybody for being worried about us. Um, I have finally started getting all of those emails. Um, there are a lot of them to go through, so if I don't get back to you right away, Please don't take it personally at all. There's just so many emails. I really appreciate all of the concern though. I do want to get some videos up that are, you know, good puppy videos for you guys. We're getting things back together, getting, uh, getting things going over here. So thank you everybody for being worried about me and I will see you guys again in a new video coming up soon.